Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's do another episode of the Iron Man Ethiopia Mr. John Achievement, uh, Arumba's Assay. I was looking at kill a little bit more, and the sweet spot for gold production is about 10 development. I think I'm willing to spend another, like, 120 admin to, to get this development up. Um, so, as we get more dip, we're going to sink points into that. We are losing some dipple points due to the uh, being over the relationship limit situation, but that's okay. Chase that army over there. Spain has just taken the capital of Moravi, so I'm assuming that he is going to want to peace out with Spain fairly soon. Let's actually send the majority of our army there as well, so that if he pieces out, maybe we'll get lucky and we can just get a garrison that's really weak. And at the same time, um... This will pass through. Here's the 22 stack from Killa. England's declared war on Teutonic. Moravi's army is coming up north as well. Uh, this stack is now definitely in danger. This army here is in danger. Uh, Alright, should we bring our heavies down? We have more heavies than Killa. I'm assuming that our heavies are better than Killa as well. A nine enthusiasm. Moravi is actually bringing a lot more of the troops to the war than anybody else. Our individual war score with Moravi is only at four, though, due to that one occupation there. Do they have any high development that we could get on? I'm assuming that Spain's got pretty good war score against him. He's got 60 war score against this guy. He should knock out pretty quick. I expected that rebellion. We'll path that army through. I put the, the current ruler there. 3-6 in the mountains defending. Should be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring the heavies down. See if they can help out a little bit. Tunis has declared war on Tlemcen. Tunis is our ally. Since we know that the Moravi's army is up there, we can probably carpet siege this area. Let's have you head up to there. We're going to wait for the university in Kaffa's complete. Kaffa was this other location, which has pretty good development costs now as well. Let's turn on development edict. We're really low on diplo points, but um, I'm still going to sink points into gold mine development. Somehow that guy managed to not die. Okay, we are done with unrest here. I'll appoint him since we are at war. And this other army, I suppose, can go up that way for now. Hoping to see uh, this guy bow out before we have to worry about it. Uh, that's actually 18 development. That would have been a good siege as well. We can also get occupied and besieged on that level 4 fort. Of course, I'd prefer to just not even have to fight this guy. But we'll go fight Kilwa's army. Occupied and besieged needs to start going on that guy there. Okay, our individual war score with um, Ravi is at 12, his enthusiasm is at 37. Um, all he needs to really do is like lose one battle. He's getting the war goal back, which is kind of annoying, but... I'll tell you what, actually...
Let's pull. I'm gonna get rid of one calf. Our infantry have like 20% combat ability, so I don't want that many. Um. Yeah, there's a battle with the actual Kilwin army. And Maravi's coming in from a couple different places here. This fight should just go totally fine though. We've got a a four a five four leader with morale advantage, discipline advantage, we've got a tech advantage, we've got more cannons, like everything about it's totally fine. We can make our heir into a fighter guy. I don't think we need to do that. He's he's about average. I really just want to keep up more boats. Get these ships repaired for this tick, and bring them down. Losing claims on things. Ming has embraced the Golden Era. Okay. How are we doing mowing down these old dumb troops here? Should be totally fine, right? Nice nine there, Mr. Uh, Susenyos. Susenyos. Come on, finish him off. Five and a half war score, killed a lot of men, lost 5,000 infantry. Got 30 enthusiasm here with our 14 individual war score. Okay, there's the conversions there. Let's turn off the edict. Just a real quick check, make sure we turned all the other edicts off. We've got trade power here, development here. I don't think I'm going to be doing development here until after we have... Until after we've uh, finished developing up that other gold mine until they're about equal. Cost 67 to develop here versus Kaffa at 45. So yeah, I need to turn this edict off soon. Kind of low on diplo points. I don't like the fact that we uh, have so few. Might need to do something about the relationship with uh, that other guy for now. Like. Being over the relationship limit, I don't think is a big deal, but if it's going to add up into development, then I'd like to do it. Tech trade in Zanzibar. Goa. Send some more ships to Goa. Okay, we currently have 49 light ships. We've got nine more coming. That makes 58. Our force limit's 79, so we still need more. My goal right now is to just get a separate piece with Maravi, um, possibly get some cash from him, if I could. We get the war score ticking in the right direction here soon. We should put this guy over here now and have you... I guess you can actually just stay here for a moment and loot a little bit, and then we'll spread you out. Alright, so the Ticking War score... Attacker controls Zanzibar. Oh, he did, he did not actually take this province back. He didn't. Huh. Surprised. We're losing our prosperity in this, this state, which is really unfortunate, but... Not much I can do about that right this second. Uh, we don't have any forts down here, though. So I'll probably build a fort. Ah, uh, we'll need two forts. We could develop and kill one to make it go away. And I could build a fort in this province. That would protect across the strait and here. And clear the devastation from this whole area. So yeah, we should build a fort in Bagamoyo. Kilwa also has a lot of slaves on this island, which would be great to get. There's another mission we could accomplish called, um... 
uh, the slave trade. We just need to have the most slave production out of anyone in the world. He's not locked yet. Let's uh, teleport the leader back. Wait till he's locked, going into Nisega, and then we'll go there to intercept. Maravi just separate piece. They gave cash to Spain. That means their capital is available. That's what we're going to go siege. Individual war score is still fine. Vichyanagar, tell us of the beater. Our paper will now be produced. Okay. I don't care about consolidating quickly or uh, reinforcing quickly, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Save up cash so we can get that fort started right now, because I know that the devastations can be an issue. Now here, doing fine on manpower. I don't really want to waste any manpower right now, though. So let's pull off some of these damaged troops and have them go just you know, anywhere else. What kind of siege ticks do we have? 21 days, that's pretty fast. Aravi's also still behind on tech. He's on 16 versus our 19. He did catch up a little bit. So to kill what it looks like. That was a 22-day siege. All right, pretty cool. Let's piece this guy out separate now as well. We can take 350 gold. We can take 10, uh, 10 years of war reps. And we can also make him stop being friends with Kilwa and his rivalry for the prestige, maybe? I'll just take the 45% peace deal. That's fine. Let's knock him out. Which means we should jump up in war score against Kilwa soon. Let's have you guys all head over to here. I think we should be seeing Spain peace out soon, and there's a chance that we might end up just getting a free occupation of his capital. Unless his capital teleports to the island. Okay, so we definitely have enough cash to build a fort. There, as soon as that fort falls, or that, that province comes back to our control. We do not need to be at full maintenance for this war anymore. Let's go down to about 60%. We can still easily win any battle that we have to do. Let's get the fort started here. It'll take a while. Devastation will be... unfortunate, but I uh, we're, we're a little bit low on, on Monarch points to be doing any other crazy development. But protecting that gold mine is going to be well worth it, especially since it's been developed now. Kaffa will develop again. Until it gets to like 8 or 10, or it's just prohibitively expensive, this is like the highest priority upgrade we can get, I think. In fact, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done the, uh, the Embraced Cultures. <laughs> Should have done that 200 Diplo points into developing gold mines. Okay, we have 55 plus 5, that's 60 light ships. We need another 19 light ships. Team plus 55 puts us at 74. Hopefully we're not too close to another level of tech. Ah, we're too off. Oh well. It is what it is. These guys can protect trade in the location of Goa now. Strong treasury department has expired. Okay. No forts that we can blockade along the coast. We do have uh, the transports that we could use to just go and invade if we wanted to get onto the actual island. I don't think that's going to be worth it, really. I mean, he's already at 8.7 war exhaustion, so that's actually an argument to keep our morale up slightly. Just that we don't end up having to fight rebels that pop up out of nowhere. Damn, devastation. Shouldn't have let that happen. My bad. Go back to improving with Elodia. I want to do this war, and then I want to get caught. I want to get going on the uh, the next war. I want to do the war against Fars to break up the Ottomans, and then just kind of take a look at how things are looking again. Like we're at 114 ducats now, up from 100. 
Ottomans are down to 195, and we're not yet really moving into crazy good trade income. There's still a lot more money to be made. In Ceylon, there's a lot of money. 19 ducats. Like, it's time to start protecting trade in Ceylon as well. In fact, Gulf of Aden's probably not even worth it at this point compared to the others. Ceylon's not showing up because we need to steer there. We don't need a merchant here, so if we want to steer here, we got to send a guy from the Gulf of Aden node. For now, you guys can head over to Goa. We still do need more universities if we're going to get that bonus. Also, we have not yet embraced our golden era, which is another thing that I would definitely be doing, especially now in the Age of Absolutism. And take tech. Admin tech? Uh, yes. Manufacturing's not embraced, that's okay. Got a 15% discount, that's great. It's gonna unlock our next idea group, which is gonna be trade. Even though we have no points for it. We're gonna have a truce down here for a long time, but we're also gonna have some unrest, so one of these two stacks should stay. I'll probably leave this army down here in this general area after this war is over, which means that this army is free to head north. Let's have them head up to to here and have this army head up to, to here in preparation for the war with Fars. Still want more light ships. Look at the naval maintenance. It's at 10 ducats. We're only paying a ducat to be over the force limit. We're gonna make it up, I promise. You can you can easily be over the force limit. As long as you don't go over the force limit by like all light ships, go to your force limit in light ships, then the majority of the cost is actually these these heavies. These ships are also supposed to be protecting trade now. Uh, Zanzibar, don't worry about going home. Like if we mothball these ships, the penalty for being over the force limit will go away almost completely. 0.47, it's like nothing. All right, we will take military tech because we don't want to fall behind. It also gives us access to better cannons. 28 war score. We have the ticking war score. It is at 7.2, which is not very much. Would be nice if we could be the one to occupy that capital. It was losing pretty handily against Spain. I'm not sure what Spain's trying to get. Spain's got pretty much all the occupations he needs here to... Who is purple? Oh, that's France. That's not purple. Navy is under glorious attack. Uh, right, so the light ships that were hiding came back out and immediately got engaged by the kill one heavies. Whoopsie! That was me just being lazy. It's fine, we lost a few ships, no big deal. They're not going to bother us in other locations, are they? Probably not. Okay. Now that we've built the naval force limit in light ships, we need to start building out shipyards. Anywhere that we can get to force limit, we're going to start building shipyards. We're just going to constantly be increasing our trade power by having more and more income. Uh, more and more money going into the light fleet. These ships, I do think that at this point, if we can protect in... That other location is going to be better. This is odd to me that we are not allowed to protect trade in Ceylon, even though it's clearly within range. There is no scroll bar. I'm not going crazy. I suppose this could be because of some of the squirreliness of, like, the ship stuff that I've done. I don't really know. But if you can, if you can send a merchant there, you should be able to protect trade there. Okay, well it is what it is. I'm gonna send that merchant back then. If we can't if we can't steer from there, then I don't know why, but oh well. Okay.
Okay, every three months we're gonna be able to knock out a new ship. Sorry, a new a new uh, trade trade thing. No, not trade thing. A, a new thing that makes us have more boats, more boats. And I'm still gonna be doing development of Kaffa. Portugal seeds land to Pasai. Spain is still not willing to peace out. I'm gonna pull the army off of their territory and just go down to even lower maintenance because we don't need to be at full maintenance for this war. Also, I'm gonna turn off some of the forts again in the center of the country because there's no risk of anyone getting over here and we can use the money. Just lost our general. Lost a claim on Hormuz. Great. I had a feeling we'd be losing a lot of claims on this guy. Get that claim back. Should have probably gone to war with him earlier. Hey, okay, trading comes at 27 ducats right now. Which is not that much better than it used to be. Where are we lacking trade power? You know. Got a merchant in Zanzibar, Ethiopia, Gulf of Aden. That all makes sense. You know what? There is a little bit too much money going that way. I think I'm probably going to send the merchant that's currently in Ethiopia. Nope. Gulf of Aden over here. See if we can swing that 2.2 ducats that is going that way. The fact that he's able to swing 2.2 ducats out, which is 7 trade power, is kind of obnoxious. This should increase income, I think. 27 last month. 27.4. Slightly, slight improval. Im improval? Approval? Words. England has fabricated a claim on us. Got caught spying on him. All right. If Spain's just not going to peace out, then we're just going to peace out ourselves, take whatever we can right now. I don't want to sit in this war. I want to get to war with somebody else. It's not a big deal to... Uh... Yeah, that is going to make a bigger difference going that way. 50 ducats a month's pretty good. Of course, we're at no maintenance right now. It's a big part of it. Ottomans are in our land. Why are the Ottomans in our land? Granting military access to Tunis. Tunis is at war with the Ottomans. No, Tunis is allied with the Ottomans. The Ottomans are helping. All right. All right, well, now that no one's in our land, let's cancel military access with Tunis because I don't want the Ottomans coming through our land. Okay, we're going to get our diplomat back and then just do this peace deal with Killa. We're at uh, 31 war score. If we wait one more month, we could be at 32 war score. It's probably not worth waiting for. So the things we want are uh, that estuary. We want any estuary we can get our hands on, and then we want to make as much progress down this coastline as we can. Um, so we can get down to that other gold mine area. We've got gold way down there. If we could get... Yeah, it's a shame we can't take this one. We can't claim anything else to, like, get closer over there. But, um, yeah, I'll just take anything we can get our hands on. We'll take those four provinces. That sounds great. Okay. That is already a state. We know we're going to have unrest here. Let's just lower autonomy for the extra absolutism. We also... Turn that edict off. 
port is halfway done. It'll take care of the devastation. Eventually. And then down here... Probably going to want another fort in this area as well. In Ibo. Ibo... Does not have enough building slots. It's got a shipyard and a workshop. Yeah, I guess we don't have room for a fort there, do we? If we build one in Ibo, Kill was not actually protected by Zona Control. It won't have any devastation, but like it's a pretty good development province. I'd like to protect Kilwa. So building one here. We could do one development click here. That gets us a building slot. I'd probably consider doing that. So now that we're in act active putting unrest down situation, I'm going to raise maintenance back up a little bit. We do have a uh, convertible province of Zanzibar. Let's get that going. We're lacking enough dipple points to do any more clicks here, but I think I still want to do two more clicks before we worry on moving into the next part. We still have spy network strength on Kilwa, so let's use that before it's gone. We'll take a claim on Angosh. And next up, I think, would be like a war with Fars, but, um... Let's let the month finish. I want to see how trade income changes now that we have that trade down in the location. 27 ducats. Still not that great. This state edict is expensive. I think, I guess we'll be done, done doing development. Up to eight is fine. We're also rooting out corruption right now. That's where a lot of our income is going. That's temporary. We do have unbalanced research because I took the military tech. We do need to catch up on Diplotech now to offset that, but... You know, it, you can't forward, afford to fall behind. No one can have access, sorry. Spain took over everything. Spain is on tech 20 to our tech 20. Uh, Spain does have their whole army here right now. He does not have claims on us just yet, but uh, we could probably beat Spain in a war. If he takes his army home, then we declare as soon as we know that it's gone. So to do that, we could just take like one of our galleys, for example, and just have it get parked out there so we can see the coastline. Currently have no ships protecting in Zanzibar. This episode's going on a little bit too long. I'm going to take a break here. I think, uh, I don't know, I, I could keep playing this for, for a long time. I, I'm not making any progress toward the actual attack the Ottomans situation, but like, this is what I would do. So, I would expand south. I would also try to work into the trade nodes of, of this area. I would definitely be isolating Fars and Anaiza, continuing to, to try to pick up an alliance with Poland after dropping the French rivalry. Um, I'd be looking to integrate, integrate these guys as relatively quickly as I can. Um, I'm not afraid of Spain. I'm just, I'm just not. Like, we're on equal tech. Spain could show up with a 50 stack, and that'd be fine. They are just as squishy as we are. They've got full defensive. That's about it. And they've got a little bit of morale from being Spain. But we've, we've got two military IT groups, and our troops are good too. And it is what it is, you know, like. I still keep trying to develop that, uh, that gold if I had the, the points for it, but we'll see. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. I, I I could keep playing forever, but I think I might just say that this is probably good enough. How how would I work through this? This is it. I mean, we're making 30, 35 ducats a month. We use that to invest in the economy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and just keep going from there. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.